Hi guys, uh, Grayson here, and uh, very happy to be joined uh, by Lewis Buxton. Um, so Lewis is a, um, has been a professional football uh, player um, for a, you've had a fairly long career, mate. Um, started at the age of seventeen, and you're are you thirty three now? Yeah, thirty three. Yeah. Just about. I'm thirty four in what three days, I think. Oh, still a still a still a spring chicken, mate. Um, <laughs> but you, you you played for um, I'm not I'm not a no football expert, but I've done a bit of research and um, me neither. Sheffield Wednesday, that's a club that I've heard of. Even a guy from New Zealand, um, he had a couple of hundred appearances for them. That's not a bad feat, mate. And um, a few other uh, clubs in England as well. Um, so. Pretty much we're just here to, to have a chat and um, we've both, funnily enough, sort of in random ways stumbled across an understanding of the mind that um, like I'll pass over to you to chat about, but for me it's really made a big impact in, in how I see and experience life. Um, so I thought it'd be quite cool to, to have you on, a fellow athlete, and um, see how, how you see this and how things have unfolded for you. But um, yeah, it's good. It's good to have you, man. Yeah, good to be here, mate. Thanks for uh, inviting me. Yeah, easy, mate. Um, so yeah, like, just, like, I guess, like, I, I call this. Uh, it's, it's hard to put a label on it, but I call it the inside-out understanding of of the mind. Um, and and I'm I'm thankful to have stumbled across this and uh, it really has made a big impact in my life so I'm, I'm i'm really interested in how you sort of came across this this understanding and how that's played out for you yeah um i guess it happened maybe three three years ago now some something like that um i was playing at sheffield wednesday at the time uh, like you said and i was really into football at the time and, and what I mean, mean by that is I was like engrossed in it as you know I was doing extra training I was training on my day off I was watching videos of players that I really admired um, and I was just kind of all out um, playing football and also I was doing things like listening to NLP coaching so um, I had an app where I'd do it and then before a game I would listen to a bit a bit of this this NLP and um, kind of go through how I wanted the game to be um, and the rest of it and I had certain goals as well so I was like you know what, I want to be, I was, I was wanted to be like the player of the season or whatever, like every year that it's like a player of the season. And I wanted to start scoring some goals, even though I was a defender, you know, I'd only scored like, I don't know, one or two lucky goals. And then <laughs> neither of them were particularly impressive. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, yeah, so I just set myself a few, a few goals and I like, looked at every aspect of my game and broke it down into pieces and just went went all out really but funnily enough I started to to actually attain some of those goals and one one part really stands out to me is that uh, we played QPR um, at Hillsborough and they ended up having a man sent off and we scored uh, three goals, I think we, we beat him three nil or something like that. And I, the ball bounced, and I, the, the game like completely slowed down for me. It's from a corner, and the game completely slowed down for me. And I like just kind of knew what to do, and I flicked it over the guy's head with my left foot, which doesn't happen very often because I'm right footed. And then I, the ball bounced, and I volleyed it, and the whole thing was just like a complete blur and a complete rush, and it just kind of completely slowed down and it was there was such ease and kind of calmness while I was doing it and I ran off and celebrated and it was all it was all a bit of a blur but 
I got back in my car after that and sort of sat down and, and drove off. And bearing in mind, you know, this was like a big deal for me. You know, a lot of people from the outside would have just thought, you know, yeah, it's just a goal and complete fit. But it was like a big deal for me. I, bought, I built it up in my mind as something um, pretty big. So I'm, I'm like driving off and I was like sat at the traffic lights and I just thought, I had this bit of like a heavy feeling come over me and I'm like, well, this is a bit unusual. I don't, you know, I feel, I almost felt like, I felt like down and I thought, why am I feeling down? I've just like, I've spent all this time trying to, to reach this goal, to reach this thing that was supposed to give me something and make me feel better. And I feel, I feel low. So that, that was kind of one of the big moments for me because I was kind of saw that you can have all the goals you want and you can get there and achieve all the goals you want. But if you're trying to reach them goals to make you feel better, then that ain't going to happen. You know, you're on a hide into nothing. You'd, you're going to get there and your experience is just going to fluctuate like it did before. Yeah. So that was a, I saw something there and then luckily for me, like you said, I kind of stumbled across it with um, a family friend. He came around for dinner one day and he uh, always stood out to me as a character. I've read about this in like a little blog I did on my, on, on my website. And um, he stood out cause he was always happy and like jolly. And at the time I was like, still, like I said, grinding and, trying my hardest and kind of being it being exhausted yeah, which yeah. kind of led me to being injured a lot because I was always trying to manipulate how I felt yeah. by trying harder and trying harder I think and I, so, guess, it, um, I guess at the same time sorry to, just to add in that's all right cool. probably to, to to people from the outside who viewed your life they they would be like wow this dude's living the dream like he's playing for this great club in front of thousands of people he's doing really well he just he's scoring amazing goals to to other people like that looks like like she's this dude must be on um, pretty feeling good most of the time right like that's sort of the that's sort of how in our society culture we're led to believe how it kind of works like you you're doing well on the outside you, you you're feeling good pretty much most of the time and and it seems to be that feeling that 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 experience that you felt when like you you just scored an unreal goal in a game that you won three nil like you should be going home like well oh, yeah like feeling pretty good about yourself um and and i i guess that is a real eye opener when something so in the forefront of your mind as something you've put all your energy into uh and and had had an idea or concept that this is where my value, my this is where my feeling comes from. This this career, this game of football, um, and to to be right up there in that one moment, and it's and it's the opposite. It's a low feeling. There's something very very interesting in that, isn't there? And it's, I guess it's it's quite quite eye opening. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to to add that in there. Um, but you were saying about the 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 family friend who who came around for dinner. Yeah, no, no, but you're spot on there. Yeah, I think um, to add my bit onto what you just said, I'll just say um, I think if we're kind of describing a bit of a blueprint for how people see the world, my blueprint was that that if I, you know, I'm not playing for England or anything, but in my mind it was a big deal and. Um, once I achieved that, I was under the impression through how I saw the world at that point through my thinking that, you know, I get this and this blueprint here tells me that I'll feel great and things will start to, I'll feel a lot better and my life will be different. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. I, I had the wrong blueprint. So <laughs> that's the thing, man. And, 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 and that's, that's the whole, I guess, um, the whole idea of what we're pointing to, like, yeah. Our, our fundamental misunderstanding as 
humans is that our feeling is our experience is caused by the world of form, things outside of us. So even even as say a young guy, uh, you know, I'm guessing you're in the system for a long time. Uh, the way things go with football, like they get you got the youngsters in academies from a young age, don't they? Um, so do they get guys in what like what 13, 14, 15 age like that? Yeah, from a young age. Yeah, from yeah. I don't know. Yeah, about in in my day, I'm sure my age now they didn't even have academies. So I think there was yeah. just like the changeover. You were an apprentice. So. Yeah, I see. But yeah, yeah. Um, we well, got like the, rep, the the representative teams, and you're sort of in the oh, yeah. in, in the part in the pathway to the yeah. ambition to be professional, right? Like. Yeah, and it's it's bit you build it up to be um, what you can do. You know, not everyone does, of course, but sometimes mm. kids can build it up to be um, be be everything. You know, yeah. to be to be a footballer. Or if, yeah. if I'm not a footballer, then I'm a yeah. failure. You know, exactly, so you yeah. hear, like you said, that they go into academies really young now. So even younger than you said, I think maybe nine or whatever, maybe younger than that. Um, I think one guy I spoke to said it was, um, his son was going into academy at Arsenal at some real young age, and um, you know I don't. That, that's fine. There's nothing in. There's nothing in. If kids enjoy it, that's fine. But yeah. the problem comes when kids think their well-being is reliant on them making it as a professional footballer or yeah. them mm. passing an exam or them being a cool kid at school or whatever it is. So, yeah, yeah. yeah it's definitely, um, yeah. And I, I, I bet, understand that. Yeah. No, carry on. Go on, sorry. Go on, sorry. Well, I, I was, I, I was going to say, I bet when you were that young guy, the apprentice and you hadn't quite, you know, got that professional contract. If you envisioned scoring a, a unreal goal against QPR and a three nil victory, under full contract getting paid whatever amount like that 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 was where your value lied you know that that's from from a young guy caught in the outside and illusion that achieving goals is where your value and your well-being and, and a good feeling lies like that would have that would have looked like that at that point because i know in my experience as a young um a young player who was really, really grinding and working to get that profession, my first ever professional contract. And, you know, I didn't know whether I was going to get there or not. And it, and I just strived and struggled and grinded so hard. And I, and it was all like a means to an end. It seemed to me as when I got to this goal, everything was going to be fine and dandy and life was going to fall into line from there. And the funny thing is, I I got that contract and that contentment, if it did come, it wasn't for long, you know, and there was the next phase to get to. And it goes into what you said, like analysing the heck out of yourself, comparing yourself to this player, that player, um, constantly ruminating over your game or how you're going or what this coach thinks and what this player thinks and are you good enough and... So to have this idea, which is fundamentally arises from an innocent misunderstanding that we work from out to in, like the, we have this idea and it doesn't, it doesn't seem to make sense, but then we just continue, because we don't know any other way, we continue to search and search for, for the feeling, for the well-being, you know? Yeah, 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 definitely. And, you know, like I said, it's like you've almost got a, a blueprint in place and then it pans out and you think, right, this is it, this is my this is my honey pot. And then yeah. and then you're like, What's happened? I'm like, you know, I don't I don't feel any different. I'm feeling worse because you've got so much thinking about what that means rather than just mm. kind of going out and playing and mm. um enjoying yourself. Yeah. It turns into I mean a good description for me would be um, when I was real, real young, I would play, go out and play um, for long periods of time just with my friend 
for no reason. There wasn't, I wasn't comparing myself to anyone. I didn't, I didn't even think to compare myself to anyone. I was just going out and living and um, enjoying myself and enjoying my football. Whereas I think over a period of time and, you know, things, things I got confused about um, led me to grind at football and um, it takes a lot out of you over um, years and years and you, um, you know, and you just, you just don't enjoy it as much. Yeah. So I think it's important for people to, um, not just in sport, in all areas of life to kind of, kind of grasp that that's yeah. the way, that's the way it works. And yeah. uh, it's always from in to out and there's nothing wrong with that than a goal. If you've got it for no particular reason, but if you think that that goal's going to give you a a lifelong great feeling, you're mistaken. So, yeah, um, absolutely, man. Yeah, yeah. I want to, um, and I want to go back to to the to the moment where, like, you know, something really made sense. You had an insight into uh, there's there's another way. There's, um, that, that you came to sort of see. Well, like I have been and the misunderstanding um. yeah yeah I mean like I said that was that was after that game and then um, from that point I don't know how much longer it was that like I said the guy came around for dinner who's a family friend and like I said he'd always been a character that stood out for me I mean I've, I've spoke to my wife since and it seemed like everyone in their life can if they sit, sit there and think about maybe someone in their life that they just notice lives a free, freer life. You know, they're not so bothered about um, events that others might get caught up in that happen and they're kind of themselves and that kind of gives um, license for everyone else to be themselves. Mm-hmm. So the, he was a guy like that, but it used to bother me a little bit. I'm like, what? what's going on with this guy? Why is he so jolly all the time? He's on drugs <laughs> or something. <laughs> thinking what's what's wrong with him but um yeah one day he came round and he bought with me a book so he bought um jamie's book uh jamie smart's book clarity um and said listen my friend wrote this book um i think you should read it because i think he recognized in me that mm. um i was walking around with that blueprint in my mind that mm. um was causing me to grind at football a lot. So he gave me that book and he bought with him, um, I don't know if I've told you this when we spoke before, but he, he bought with him like a ball that you shake it up and all lights and glitter go off, you know, like a snow I've globe actually, type thing. Yeah, I've yeah. Read, and it, I read this somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I've, t- I've told it before, I think. When yeah, I but it's cool though, I, I like it. But yeah, yeah, yeah but that, that's how it happened. He, he bought that with him and he just said, listen, this isn't an analogy for your mind. He bounced it on the floor and shook it up. And he just said, look, you know, if you sit there and you shake it constantly, it's never going to settle. But if you just leave it to its own devices, then it will settle on its own. That's, that's how it's designed. That's a blueprint of a snow globe. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And I just saw something in that and I thought, you know, this guy's, guy's got a point. And then over a period of time, I read the book. Um, saw that there was something different in the book and how Jamie was describing it. Um, I was still doing NLP at that time, which was funny, and still like go into every like three months. I'd go and see like a a lady in Manchester, a really really nice lady to be fair. But um, she would do like hypnosis stuff and um, kind of mind control stuff, yeah. manipulation of of your thinking, but. And it, I felt like it worked for a bit and then I'll be back in there again, feeling the mm-hmm. same. So this stood out to me as something different, something with a bit more substance. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, and I ended up going on the same course the guy had been on. I didn't know he'd been on the course, uh, Jamie's Clarity course. Ended up going on that. Um, and yeah, and it's just slowly, bit by time, um, bit by bit, my understanding's kind of... Um, deepened and uh life is a bit looks a bit different now so yeah. in a really good way so yeah oh that's cool man it's amazing like 
I, I relate so much, you know, it's, it's interesting, like someone can come along and say something, uh, shake a, a snow, what's the thing called? Sorry, the... Like a snow globe, but yeah. it was like a bouncy someone can, someone can come along and, and shake a snow globe and, 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 and we resonate and we're like, wow, that makes sense. And then we're open to reading this book. Whereas a few months beforehand, you know, if we, you maybe hadn't have had the experience in the car after the game and, and life hadn't sort of unfolded the way it had. If, if this dude came along and said that, you still like, oh, yeah, cool, mate. Yeah, all good, like, you know, you're a bit weird, but cool, yeah, get along with life. But yeah. it's interesting that when we're open, when the time's right and we become open, like, we can really, really come to see something profound about how we really experience life. And, and, and I think that's such a cool analogy because we've been going around all this time thinking that if we don't feel good, that it's because it's caused by something out on the outside of us. So then we try and work and grind and figure it out in our intellect as to what's the cause of our feeling or, or where we need to get to in order to feel better or um, why we're not feeling content. And, and we just perpetuate all the thinking and it just goes on and on. And, and it's like the, the, the snowflakes floating around the ball. They just never quiet down because we're just constantly, innocently, just grinding the gears of our thinking rather than realizing that what we've been caught up in is that our feeling, our experience never, ever came from outside. Yeah, the intellect might point that way. But the knowing that it doesn't work that way allows us to not be shaking up that globe and, and all those snowflakes fizzing around and getting in the way of what, how life truly works. And in fact, that we have always had what we needed, whether we ever even made the contract, ever even got the contract as a pro footballer, um, whether whatever's gone on in our life, whatever stories we've had made up, we've always had enough. We've always been enough. We've always been complete. And and coming to see that is quite profound, you know, like the implications of that uh, are amazing. You know, you, you, when when we start to see life as it truly works, we stop resisting against the misunderstanding that we've had. And, and like you explained about the family friend of yours, you know, more often than not, like, we see life for what it is. We connect with people more naturally. We, we see possibilities and opportunities where in the past we were so closed off because we had this, like you said, blueprint of where we had to get to. Like, we might not have seen these amazing possibilities around us, even just as little as how how good we've got right now, you know, what our health, like, you know, family, friends, a roof over our head. Um, it's so easy to get caught in this blueprint that's in our intellect of somewhere to get to or what life has to look like. And, and you miss, and that's all those snowflakes flowing about everywhere, getting in the way of what's true. Um, so I, like, yeah, man, that's a, it's a real, really cool um, story and a, and a nice analogy too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, it has made a big difference, um, definitely in my life, um, you know, with... I was coming to the end of my career at that point and I was getting injured a lot and I used to, yeah, struggle a lot with that and to always think I'm behind. I had so much um, thinking on it that I was, you know, I used to get low sometimes about it. And then, you know, the same scenario was happening throughout, throughout my, towards the end of my career. But as um my understanding kind of kicked in um 
I was getting injured and it was not taking the same sort of toll on me. Mm -hmm. So it was the same situation and I was even closer to the end of my career. So, you know, I still got all this thinking about what am I going to do next? Um, You know, how am I going to start making money outside of football? How am I going to transition into another career? How am I going to, um, I've got kids to feed this, that. Do you know, do you know what I mean? All this yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hyped up thinking going on. Yeah. It still happened from time to time, but it had a less of a um, force force on me. Do you know what I mean? I'd, I'd spend, yeah. I'd still spend time up and down. Mm-hmm. So I'd still spend time where I had nothing on my mind and I'd be like playing with the kids or I'd be messing about in the gym but then there'd be other times where I was low, but it kind of took the edge off it. And um, I would see, see that it was only temporary, you know, that that down phase was only temporary. So. um, I guess when we, when we don't really get how the system works, it would make sense to us to take all the dialogue and our intellect very seriously. Like as in, if you're injured, and you feel as though you're coming to the end of your career and then this content pops up in your intellect saying, oh, you need to figure this out now or what happens if this happens or, you know, all all these stories come up. And from a misunderstanding that that what you're feeling in that moment can come from anything out there in the world of form and circumstances in the future, from that misunderstanding, it makes sense to take all that thinking very seriously. And then what happens is we innocently, we carry on the dialogue and it adds up and it's like, okay, well, that's real. So I need to go sort out this, that and the other to make sure my future and for my kids and for my well-being. And, um, you know, and then there's all these stories going on about, oh, what's, what about when I'm not in this environment? Am I going to miss the guys or this is my identity, this is what I've known since I was 17, am I going to be able to cope in the real world and, you know, all this dialogue and and I guess what you're saying is when you understand in your heart that our experience is coming from within us, moment to moment, it's never coming from out to in, that even though that thinking comes along, you just know that it's not the cause, it's not it's what it's pointing to outside of you is not the cause of your your feeling in that moment and and like like you said you leave it be and in its own the mind has a system that clears when it's left to its own devices and and rather than getting caught up in it and in, in all the insecurity and trying to cope and fix things outside to to bring a feeling of, of back back to a good feeling leave it to its own devices and we see it for what it is and the mind clears on its own. And the funny thing is that that I've found in my experience is when, when we do let the mind run its course, we have, we have a wisdom behind that's constant. That's running the show behind our own intellect, behind our own personal identity. And when things pop up in insecurity, and secure thinking around the future and what you're going to do and is this going to work out or whatever you just know that you don't need to have that sorted right now but you have faith that there's a wisdom that when moments arise you have what it takes to get whatever needs to be done done you know and to solve problems and to create opportunities and see all the possibilities rather than insecurely trying to sort things out for the future to change your feeling now, which often leads us on like a wild goose chase, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And I get, I guess, yeah. um, like, well, this, this is your first, uh, year retired from football, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's been about, cause you've had, cause you had what you had some really yeah. sort of struggles with your back and injuries and stuff. Yeah, um, from years back, I had a back operation when I was playing at Stoke. Um, 
so to at that point I would have been you know grateful to to get back playing so I ended up having an operation and um yeah but I, I got back like I said your your body's um pretty re resilient and uh, heal, heals itself um you know like your mind but um towards the the end of my career um it, it happened again so at that point it was like you know i think it might be time to to call it a day but but even then you know i was i was straight up i was i was confused i didn't know you know am i just um getting bogged down in my own thinking uh, and that's another way that you can go with um this understanding that you 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 don't realize that even when you're trying to analyze whether you're inside out you're outside in that's still the same thing you can be thinking yeah. about whatever you want but you're still getting caught up um, in thinking still yeah 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 and the, and the guide is always what you're feeling you know so mm -hmm. um if you're feeling low you've got you've got down thinking so um and that doesn't stop it you know that's just that's just intellectual it's kind of the the understanding that sits beneath that is where is where it's at really but yeah um i guess it's yeah, not I, I, I was it no nah, yeah exactly and you know like i said i spent a lot of time getting caught up i even went and trained a couple of days to just see whether um you know i still i still wanted to play football um but then uh, like I said, I still had problems with range of motion, movement, and that kind of thing. So I ended up stop, stop playing. So um, yeah, that's where I am now. But right now I'm transitioning into other things, uh, business-wise and coaching, um, all different things. So it's gave me that understanding. It's gave me kind of a leg up. I'd describe it as because. It, it, it's kind of I'm finding my way again like uh, maybe a young kid not you know just just playing football for for the for the fun of it um, not really setting their sights on on the contract too much or anything like that or making it as pro just going out and playing football without um, too much thought on my mind and there's always times when I you know I'm still thinking about um, you know am I gonna ever make it to a a coach am I ever gonna make a success of this business am I gonna ever gonna um you know get more time and, and have to work less if I want to that, that all these thoughts still still come in into play but and that's, but temporary, the, that's so. the human experience right like like yeah the, sure the goal, yeah. and that's the cool thing around what we're pointing to is and what you're saying, man, is like you're never going to escape the goings on of the intellect. It's gonna, it's gonna. From the perspective of the personal identity, there's always somewhere to get to, you know. But but what we've come to see is a truth, a universal truth in every human that we've always we've always been enough, and that we work from the inside out, and and that allows us to see through all those stories of the intellect and and it's funny because it doesn't stop you going out there it, it, it allows you to be more like that kid who just throws himself into it all out and that's where our best comes from you know like the moments when like you've been out on the full field i've been on the rugby field when i'm at my best and enjoying it like i'd literally feel like that little kid you know and then there's other times where you get it caught in your head and it's, you, you're worried about the score or the performance or whatever. But it's all natural. It's all unfolding. But rather than getting stuck in it, you see it for what it is now, you know? And, and, mm. and that's cool. Like, yeah, it's, there's going to be things come up in our thinking around, okay, now where do I have to get to in life? Okay, I want to make my business work. I want to make my coaching uh, be impactful and and all this and but then a little quiet moment of truth a moment of realization comes and it's like 
everything's going to unfold the, the way that it will, you know, like all I can do is show up moment to moment and do what makes sense. And from that place, we are that little kid. And that's where, that's where our best comes through, you know? So it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah, quite definitely. cool to, to hear that. And, um, cause like, obviously I'm the same man as I've, I've been a professional rugby player for, for 10 years now. Um, you know, ever since I finished high school as well. So there's often naturally thinking around oh, like, what's it going to be like after, like, what am I going to do? Or, but it's, it's, it's actually the same. Like, in fact, we're always, our intellect's always going to project to somewhere, but all we can do is show up in the moment and do what makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it just reminds me of, um, cause I've got two young kids. Um, my elder one, she's like four now. So before this call, I was upstairs and she's got this elf on the shelf. Do you know what that is? Oh, I've seen the videos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been around for a few years, but, um, my wife loves it so i'm like she says it's your it's your turn tonight and i'm like jesus not this again and um i'll get I'll get in my head about it but um <laughs> she she my daughter was upstairs sat down and he's got like every night she gets him well every night this month and um puts him into like a little sleeping bag a little red sleeping bag <laughs> and because she's not she hasn't learned how that works she's there trying to do it every which way and trying and trying and trying. And she can't even, she can't get in the, she's putting him on the side and she's like trying everything. And after about two minutes, she starts going, Ugh, and like making all these noises. Like that's gonna, that's gonna get him in there Ugh, and all this. So it, that just really reminds me of what I was like yeah. back, back then. I still get like that sometimes, yeah. but it was like all this angst and tense, uh, yeah. forcing yeah. you know when you're playing playing sport or even if you're um, I don't know having a conversation with your partner or whatever yeah. it, it doesn't do it doesn't do anything it yeah. just it just it just makes it just bring, brings you down so I think yeah. what I saw in that was that people people will find their way and they're going to have times when they get um caught up and they're going to have times when their life's a chore and they're going to have times when they're feeling frustrated but there's still something else going on in, in, in life whenever that happens and people have always got in any given moment the possibility for fresh new thinking yeah. to clear their mind completely and mm. things from that space anything is possible and she will learn that's just kind of how it works yeah the the, st the tense and the rest of it is kind of part of the process almost and you don't have to kind of read too much into it and eventually she'll learn how to do that yeah through through keep doing it but it's when people think you have to avoid that tense and these feelings that people get these low feelings yeah. that you have to avoid it that that's another trap that I kind of fell into as yeah. well like yeah. when I was got a piece of this understanding and then I was like okay from the early days I'm like okay if I'm feeling down or I'm fe I feel like I'm struggling then that's a sign for me to do something different yeah. like yeah there's a sign for me to to go and read a book or yeah. if I'm feeling down yeah. or I'm struggling, I need to get up and go for a walk or yeah. I need it's to... still that illusion of like responsibility and control. Like, yeah, like it's easy to get caught up. Even, even when you first get an insight into the, the fact that we work from the inside out, yeah. it's still easy to fall for like okay so but but then we can be in control or responsible for shifting our feeling state whereas yeah 
the truth is, man, like our feelings even flow moment to moment from an energy, a universal energy that's far beyond our own little self-made identity. Um, and, and realizing that, that actually allows us to know that good, bad, wherever you are on that ebb and flow, that's actually completely made up. It's part of it, yeah. 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 It's made it's up, all, but it's part, it's part of it as well. Yeah, yeah it's all normal. And, and you yeah. know what I love about the, the story with your little daughter is it just showed like a little child, they're not so much conditioned into the outside and misunderstanding, you know, because they haven't been around in this world that long. So they don't, <clears throat> they're just living moment to moment with how they see life. Yeah. yeah. She, she drops in and out. Like, yeah. Mm, she got mm. caught in that moment thinking that, that it was her trying to get this little elf on the shelf into the sleeping bag that was causing her feeling. Yeah. But, but you know what the cool thing is? A moment later, she would not have a care. She would flow into her next feeling. She would not have nah, a care she was in, in the a, world. And a minute later, she's in the bath and they're laughing their heads off. You yeah. Know? So it's and and you know it, where it just, we went wrong, man, is as we grow older, we 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 fall into that low feeling, and then we innocently and our intellect like attribute it to say a football game or training or how your career is going. Something in, in the real adult world that seems real and tangible in the cause of, of feeling. Yeah. And we believe it to be real. And then we just entertain it. It goes on and on and on. But, but there's no difference between us and, and a little child who gets stuck in one moment. But they flow into the next moment because they're not caught in misunderstanding it. Whereas from an innocent misunderstanding, we hold on to all this noise going on and we feel more stuck in that place. Whereas we're only ever feeling the energy flowing through us, a universal energy moment to moment. Um, and like we say, like it's going to seem at times where, that it's coming from outside of us, but it never, the truth is, it never is. You know, and knowing that, like, that's a massive gift. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, man. Well, I had I had plenty of um, other questions that I wanted to delve into, but um, we've had a good chat. It's been about an hour. We've been chatting, so um, yeah, we'll 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 leave it at that for now. We might have to um, do yeah, a cool. part two uh, um, for some. Yeah, sure. I had a few questions around you know um, the sort of mental health and sport, and there's a lot of awareness. Oh, okay. And, and yeah, um, there is. Yeah, I was listening to it actually on the car. They were talking about it on. Um, BBC on the radio, BBC radio. Yeah. So that, that that's an interesting point as well because yeah. you know, it's like it is important to understand how how your mind works and yeah. we've come to understand that there there is an actual blueprint, but mm -hmm. still people that are not working off that hymn sheet, they're yeah. still having an impact on on people in the sense that they're doing what they're doing their best, you know, where mm. I went through a, a, a stage maybe of looking at people that are maybe kind of working off the blueprint I used to work off with, you know, a lot of outside in yeah. going on that I used to think they're doing it wrong. They're, yeah. they're trying to help people, but they're, they're doing it wrong. They should help. be doing it like this. Yeah. And I, I, but that's just a, that type of, response it kind of reflects where i am so it reflects that i'm caught up in thinking about them and judging them mm. so i found that really interesting that mm. i was coming up listening to that in the car and there was times where i'm like now nah, they shouldn't be doing that they're doing they're doing it wrong but yeah. you know that's me Absolutely. the reflection of me getting frustrated so um mm. that's not helpful to anyone so all we can ever do is um start with ourselves do you know what i mean rather than yeah absolutely man. trying to impact everyone in, with some super yeah. technique or trying to explain a blueprint i think people yeah. people take it can take that and it will do nothing for them it's kind of yeah. yourself when you really know that that's how it works 
Yeah. And that's it, man. Like, we're never going to eradicate the world of an innocent misunderstanding, you know? But, no. but the, the cool thing is that, and in my experience, is when we know in our heart this is how it works and, and we've seen and experienced the impact and we live from that place of knowing, people pick up on that. And they're curious, just as you were curious with the guy that came around to dinner. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I mean. He, 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 like you said, he could have bought that another time, and I'm not being open to it, but yeah. it just so happened yeah. that I was in a in a place where yeah. I was open to that, and exactly. I could see re- recognize something in him. So yeah, and it just know, goes to show, though, man, it's, we're not in control. It's some it's something beyond us running the show, and. And that that allowed you to be open in that moment. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Which is, um, you know, what can you expand on that? What you, what you're saying there? Because I think that's important for people yeah, well, to hear a bit more about that. Yeah. Well, the, I guess I guess the way the way I see it is, we've for such a long time been in the belief that we're just the separate self out here on our own, just our body, our brain and our intellect with all of our thinking running our life. And that we're responsible for everything that we do and the decisions we make. And, and we need to get ourself sorted and, you know, oh, I need to escape these issues from the past or I need to sort out these circumstances in order for my life to be good and right or, from this fundamental misunderstanding that we're a separate entity that we've been struggling. Whereas coming to see the truth that at our core, at our source, our, the creative source of where our experience comes from, we're all coming from that same source. And that's, that's the energy that we're pointing to that, is behind the, every single one of our human experience that it's not separate energy for each individual there's one universal energy running the show and like you know there's di- like there's different words and people have um some hang-ups and judgments on particular words but you know i guess yeah yeah over time you know like in the essence of um religion before ideas and concepts have been thrown in like what they point to as God or, you know, oneness or love or whatever you want to call it, you know, all these religions, they're pointing to the fact that we've had a, we have a source behind us that is the creative capacity behind life and we're not the ones running the show. Um, and, and the funny thing is like the intellect's not our enemy. Like it's our friend. It's our, it's an amazing tool in life. And when we mm. are an understanding that we're not controlling the show, when we stop trying to control life with our intellect, it, it becomes our asset, our tool to, to create. Like, look at like the amazing technologies that, that our race has created and the comforts that we've been able to create for the way we live and, um, and all these amazing things and science and all of that. But then on the flip side, from praising the intellect as the only creative source, look at the issues that the world's in, you know, the greed, the poverty, the violence, racism, these types of things. They've arisen when we've fallen for the, for the fact that we're separate entities and there's something that divides us all. So rather the understanding that we're all of the same source at our essence, uh, I guess that's the that's the root of where we're pointing to and um and the link the link into that is understanding the nature of that thought plays in that 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 thought the energy of thought is the portal into that deeper understanding i guess um and and like yeah man like you said there's so many uh people out there doing their absolute best and they're wanting to help people and and, and and I'm sure they are helping people. Like, you know, you said you felt help for short periods of time when you're doing NLP. And um, 
what whereas I guess the power and what we're pointing to is it's we're pointing to the one constant within every single human being and the realization of that that's what it is and how it works allows us to be in line with that wisdom and to see things playing out rather than trying to cope and fix and control and make yourself better you realize you've always been fine anyway yeah yeah sure um yeah i mean people do their best to you know i do my best and you're always trying to describe something that's indescribable um you're always trying to um talk about the territory with a map aren't you mm. um i think as much as this understanding uh, is revan revolutionary i think sometimes you know i know i've got kind of lost in the fact that you just got to got to kind of be yourself and from there people kind of really can really notice that like yeah. my uh friend who came for dinner yeah. and it shines through people people can notice that and from there if you can find the right moment to drop in a bit of the understanding the principles kind mm -hmm. of behind this understanding then yeah that seems to to really make a difference yeah definitely man and just going out and knowing it you know the impact you have on in your own household or in your organization uh that's that's not to be um underestimated the power and just just that man just living it you know which is cool yeah yeah, yeah. but i um it's been really really good to chat with you man and really thankful um that you came on and had a chat and um yeah no problem yeah. I'll, i've overran I'll, we've overran it a bit yeah no nah, but it's cool man um, <laughs> you have yeah. to chop it down no nah, we just goes to show eh, the, the plans we have they're made up um yeah, I'll, exactly, I'll, yeah. I'll put in uh what's your website man um because because i read a really cool article that you wrote the other day um yeah so it's Lewis at the wellness coach dot life dot okay, cool. com taken so I had to take <laughs> oh yeah that was I like tried to buy <laughs> I, tried, I tried to buy it and it was about two and a half grand and I was like I'm not paying yeah. that for a website it's because so these hustlers like, go and oh, no. buy all the websites exactly someone yeah. wants them they sell it to you um, yeah okay. ahead some people aren't they but, cool well I'll link yeah, it in as so well and uh, your business is the cool card isn't it yeah yeah we've just actually um so it's a luxury benefits card for footballers but we've actually started um letting other players put their businesses on and advertise it to each other and we've got charities that are coming on board now so cool. um we're starting to move in the right right direction on that front as well so um yeah that, that that's www.thecoolcard.co.uk all good but that's not i'll, that, I'll that's link not, those you'll in you'll be able to see You'll be able to see the video, but you won't be able to get on because you've got to pay for a membership. <laughs> hey, you might get some people but, um... coming up. <laughs> <laughs> we never know. Um, we might have Lionel Messi and stuff listening to the podcast, so you never know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I won't, I won't hold my breath on that one, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, who knows? All good. Okay, cool, man. Thank you so much, bro, and I'll, I'll speak to you soon. Yeah, cool. Take care.